Right, we're going to do some more speed distance time calculations, but this time we're going to have some decimal hours to deal with as well. Okay, so this is find the distance by a bus traveling 38 miles per hour for two hours and 15 minutes. So we're looking for a distance. So we're going to use the formula cover up the D, S times T. So D equals S times T. So I'm going to write D equals, I'm going to write S equals, and I'm going to write T equals. So distance is what we're looking for. The speed is 38, and the time is 2 hours and 15 minutes. Okay, now I can't just write 2 hours 15 minutes into my formula. What I've got to do instead is I've got to write it as a decimal hour. Now this is the thing that a lot of people will do without even thinking about it is they write 215. Okay, but that's not right because 15 minutes is not like a 15, like 15 over 100 of, a, of an hour. Okay, you have to change it into decimal properly and the way to do that is you take the minutes so 15 in this case and you divide it by 60 okay because there's 60 minutes in an hour essentially what you're doing is you're, you're like 15 over 60 is the fraction of an hour so you're just changing that into a decimal and it's 0.25 okay so 15 minutes is 0.25 so 2 hours and 15 minutes is 2.25 and that's the number that you then put into your formula. So then it's distance equals 38 times 2.25. Times them together, just use a calculator for this one. Um, and that is going to give you 85.5 miles. Okay, example two. Plane takes off at uh, one, five minutes past one. And arrives at 11 minutes past 7. The plane flew 976 miles. What was the average speed of the plane? So this time we're looking for the average speed. So cover up S in your triangle. It's S equals D over T. Can write D equals S equals and T equals. So distance is 976. Speed is what we're looking for. And the time is, is worked out, it's 6 hours and 6 minutes. Okay, so this time we're going to take 6 and we're going to divide it by 60 to work out what it is as a decimal hour and it's 0 0.1. So 6 hours and 6 minutes is 6.1 hours. Then you just take the speed and divide 976 by 6.1 which gives you a speed of 160 miles per hour. Okay. Okay, so... Example three, distance is 375 miles, speed is 150. How long did the flight take? It should say how long did the flight take in hours and minutes, um, but we'll get to that in a second. So um, looking for time, so T equals D over S. So D equals S equals and T equals. Distance is 375, speed is 150, and time is what we're looking for. So time equals... 375 over 150. So remember you're dividing there. So time is equal to 2.5. Okay, so I'm going to write this as hours and minutes. It's 2.5 hours. So the 0 0.5 is a bit we need to sort of change. Um, it's probably quite you know straightforward, like half an hour is 30 minutes. If you if it was a decimal and you weren't sure how many minutes that was, you just times it by 60. So you do the opposite of what you what you did before and change it back. We want to change it from um, decimal hours in the minutes, you just times it by 60, or if you're going back the way, you would divide by 60. So 0 0.5 times 60 is 30, so it's 30 minutes. So the time is 2 hours and 30 minutes. Right, example 4, a car travels 155 miles at a speed of 60 miles per hour. How long did it take to complete the journey? So again, we're looking for time. So T equals D over S. T equals S equals and T equals. So distance is 155, speed is 60, and time we're not sure. So time equals 155 over 60. Time equals, and when you do that, you get 2.58333. Was on. So then take 0 0.58333 and times it by 60. 
Okay, and what you'll get back is you'll get you'll get like closer and closer to 35, but right 35 minutes. So then t time is equal to two hours and 35 minutes.